see everybody hi welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm ladiva deluxe lot of sure or the chick elena glam that's here mondays and wednesdays doing her tutorials and reviews but today is friday that means friday is her a drag and we're doing this fabulous look from trinity k bonnet from rupaul drag race all stars Season 6, episode 7, and she looked like a samba dancer from Brazilian carnival. It was everything, aunties. And that's why I'm doing it. And we're going with this. So if you guys are interested to see how I did this, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of all new videos I upload. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I also go live every Monday. So do follow me on social media, the links are down below, as well as my Patreon group. So like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this fabulous tutorial, darlings. So before we get into my bare face, with my newly lightened eyebrows, yes, I had a laser tattoo removal my permanent makeup from my eyebrows finally it's not perfect because i still have a lot of microblasion there and everything but it's much lighter it's going to be easier to block so you'll see just a couple of minutes later but i decided to go with this after the recovery it took me a week to recover and i couldn't wear makeup wasn't allowed to i was very swollen the swelling was all over here I didn't even know how involved it was. The laser hurt like a bee. It was like a couple of seconds each eyebrow. It wasn't bad, but I was swallowing like down to here, down to here, literally everything for days. So I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be able to beat my face again. They're still a little sensitive, but I mean, I could paint them now. <laughs> so that's just a little update. You didn't miss anything, but for me, I pre-filmed a couple of videos and the rest of it is a blur. I was just swollen at home recovering. So now we're doing this because uh, a lot of people ask me if I'm going to do any looks from RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 6. And I've been watching that and I wanted to do something. and But I wanted to do something that really I really enjoyed. A lot of looks are beautiful, but nothing like, wow, I love it. Well, I saw this Trinity K Bonnet, and this is a winning look from a challenge she won on episode 7. And she looked like summer dancer, she did the moves and everything, huge headpiece with the beads and jewels and gems. Of course, I don't have that, but as a crafty queen, you've probably seen this little piece of my Halloween outfit in many, many videos. <laughs> I just put it in different places of my body and call it a day. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So, I just love her aesthetic, and this is the look we're going with. Let me know who else do you want me to see, uh, do you want to see me to? Any queens from past seasons, current seasons, uh, any countries, because so many, we have drag race, Holland, Canada, España, you know, all kind of things, so UK, just leave me a comment below, let me know who is your favorite and what kind of look you want me to do. Uh, I have a lot of ideas and I have a recent suggestion and we Peru, which I love too, so that's probably going to be one of my uh, following week's videos, so leave me a comment, let me know. So let's get right into this tutorial and we'll see how we created this. I have no tutorials and I have no receipts of how she does makeup, but we figured it out. A little investigative work. Let's get started. So here we are, a week later. Now for you guys, it seems like no time has passed, but for me, I haven't worn makeup in a week, I haven't done anything in a week, and I'm feeling bleh. I need like to do something interesting, like I can't sit around, do nothing for a week, so it was painful. So my eyebrows are not red anymore, and not swollen, almost, like almost all the swelling is gone. So I did that tattoo removal, the eyebrow tattoo removal, so what you see is what left over. Uh, I still see it, but I think the old tattoo is gone. Like I see the old tattoo used to be over here, but the microblading is still there, and it'll take like maybe three, four more sessions, I think. It said up to five sessions. 
Microblading is the most resistant, that's what they said. But it's better than before. It was very painful, it was very quick. It was very swollen for days. So now we're ready to do business. Oh, I feel so fresh and renewed with the cat ears. So we're doing Trinity K Bonnet. And I picked that look because I liked it the moment I saw it, I loved it. I was waiting for this week's episode I just watched. I'm literally filming this on Thursday morning. And the new episode, I don't know, I've done pop art looks myself. Look, I think a couple of them. And as much as I love them, I do like the weeks from the old week, the previous week better. And I think the winning look of Trinity K. Bonet, where she was in that uh, carnival type of beautiful feathers and everything, it was like everything for me. And the jams, she had so many jams. I'm like, yes, I'm doing the jams. So what I did, I did some investigation to see how she does her eyebrows. She does do uh, her eyebrows on top of the eyebrows, which means she does not cover up her eyebrows, she just draws over them. I did investigation, I took a screenshot where you can see sideways and you can see eyebrow hair. Yes, I'm that anal. <laughs> so, I'm gonna start drawing my eyebrows first. And since I'm, I'm trying to be still gentle on the skin, this is a good idea not to do anything shaving or anything, so I'm just gonna make them thicker Trinity K Bonnet style and we're gonna continue. So I did end up putting a little concealer here I just couldn't resist. I wanted to, to stand out. I want the eyebrows to be a little elevated So I did put in put down the concealer. So I'm happy about uh, The results because it's kind of easier now to cover up so the eyebrows a little lighter So we achieved something in one session. So and I'm gonna use just my uh, Revolution XX Revolution Brow pencil. We're gonna sketch it simply. Well, she does not do hairs. I think she just draws over. But she draws over her own eyebrows. You can see her own hair popping through. And then we're gonna clean it up with a concealer. She does eyes first. And I've got the receipts. I've got screenshots from her on All Stars. Where she was doing her eye makeup first. And I think I've seen a few of them do that. Yeah, my eyebrows are still sensitive. When I'm drawing over them, they kind of hurt a little bit, so I'm gonna go really easy and light on them, but I must get into drag today. <laughs> it just must happen. And then I'm gonna draw some hairs. So this is NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen in Ash Brown. So I'm gonna randomly draw little hairs. You can't see much hairs on her brows, it kind of looks blocky. So, a very thick, she does the very thick eyebrows and very downwards tails, which is interesting. I'm trying to get rid of my downwards tails on my tattoo and treat it, she just paints them like that. So, to each their own. I like my eyebrows snatched up. So, hopefully, eventually, I'll get rid of those tails. So I got a little something something on here. So her eye make makeup, uh, the base is kind of easy because she doesn't do anything super exaggerated and graphic. So there is no like breaking my own face structure. Pretty much she just paints on top of her natural grease, on top of her natural eye line, which is pretty. The eyelashes were big, the gems were beautiful. So don't you worry about it, it's gonna be fabulous, darlings. So let's start with the base. So this was uh, just a Revolution concealer, conceal and correct in white, and we're gonna compensate for that by using some reddish orange tones because this is supposed to be red. But if you use red, it's gonna be pink, like a mauvey color. So we don't need that. We want red. So I'm gonna start with my cheap AF Perfusion brush blending brush and I'm gonna go just for a change not the Beauty Bay Bright Matte <laughs> as usual I'm gonna go for my rarely used Carnival XL Pro it's a beautiful palette that I, ha I just don't use enough and I love it and the pigmentation is amazing and I've got cat hair in my eyes of course there it goes there goes my baby right there <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Inferno and a little bit of lit afterwards. So Inferno is gonna go just a big brush and I'm gonna 
put it all over. It seems like Trinity goes for red often. I've seen some other receipts on YouTube. Somebody filmed her doing her makeup. It wasn't a tutorial, I just saw some receipts. Like she starts like this and puts black over, which maybe she wants like a warmth there because you can barely see the red afterwards. But I don't mind this because it looks very nice. At the end, it gives that hot, smoky glow. So it's pretty much big, big brush and all blendy blend. So now we're going to cover it up with lights out. And you'll see it's a nice black, but it's not the blackest black. So I'm gonna actually go over with ABH Alisa Edwards palette black over, but it's decent enough to start with. So that's what Trinity does usually. She puts black over the red. And this is a Morphe brush, just a regular kind of medium-sized brush. There is no name or number. And I'm gonna start with a small Jessa brush, 237, detail shader. And I'm gonna go to Pillow Talk. And just because I started with it, I should have just gone for the ABH white. But we have another light color here. It's almost white. It's not quite white, it's like off-white. It's pretty decent. Now we're gonna do basic cut grease, just a flat brush. Believe it or not, I'm still using the brushes that came from the paint set from Walmart. They're extremely flat and they're extremely thin. They're so good for cut greases and I'm not cleaning off any of the fallout. Yep, yeah, I'm being a lazy bee. Actually, this look has red on the eyelid. So now we're going to fill this in. I'm going to mix Inferno and the orange one, lit, so we can create true red on top of white. Just using a cheap uh, wet and wild flat brush. It's large and in charge. I like large brushes for this kind of area. So now it's time to add the ABH Lisa Edwards black, and you'll see that black is more black than the Be Perfect black, if that makes sense. See? I don't know if you can see it, but for me, it's like literally you get the black as black. I don't know how they do it, but ABH black is the tits. So I did two things. I lined my upper eyelash with this dragon liner. This is called boxy charm, people. I get so much liner stuff from them. And this is a V, Q, V, E, E, M. Never heard of them. And that's for the waterline. And I'm gonna just do some blending and smooshy smooshy. Going back to lights out, gonna be perfect. And we're just gonna blend that and some red. And that's pretty much it for the eye. So I'm using a combination of concealers, the same revolution, and also the Juvia's Place one. I don't wanna take it out of the drawer again, I just put it away. Just a Juvia's Place concealer, kind of create a light paste. I got to wear a foundation on already because that's kind of boring, you know, I see that. Okay, it's time to snatch and counter. So I'm using my favorite and it's already almost pants. That's Wet n Wild in the 8 or 6, where is Walnut? And it, as you can see, I'm doing a good job panning it. So I'm using uh, just a brush. It's a face shape brush of one time. And this time, I can't even paint with it anymore. Because I panned it. So you can just dig into the brush. So Trinity paints uh, just like everybody else pretty much, contour, but she does not start high up here. She starts like in the middle of the year. So I'm gonna fo focus on that and going down to the lip rather than like in between lip and nose. And for the nose, of course, I'm going with a small brush. Any small-ish brush will do. Now, Trinity doesn't snatch her nose extremely, like, you can't breathe out of it. It's very moderately snatched. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of more space in between the lines. The railroad tracks and a little more space in between them. The usual. I'll put some white powder on the mice. To make, I usually use a little bit of this in Mayron Ultra White. 
I'm gonna lighten up all the areas I want to be I want to be light. Okay, it's time to contour. I'm gonna contour with something I haven't used in a while because I forgot I had it. Because my drawers were a mess. So now when I got my eyebrow tattoo removed, I was so bored because I couldn't film, I couldn't do my makeup, I couldn't do much of anything else because I was alone. So I was recovering and I went ham all my makeup drawers around here. I did a little declutter. I didn't show you, but there's not much to watch. It's some old crap from AliExpress, a throwaway. And I organized my drawers. They're so good now. So I opened the drawers to see everything. I'm like, ah! Everybody who knows what I'm talking about, when everything is organized, it's the best feeling ever. So this is actually from PR package I got from iMagic. And this is a great, great cool tone contour color. And I'm so using it right now because I haven't used it because I didn't know I had it. <laughs> Don't judge. I had crap everywhere. And of course I'm using a card. Those pucks are charming, so it's a great for country. So I'm gonna go with Bellini. There's a couple of colors, probably this first, and then there's some light color just to blend it out with. Using Seattle London, just because I have it from BoxyCharm. This is a bronzer, Palm Island. I'm just gonna bronze over. Usually I do bronzer first. I don't know why I even did it this way, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, counter in the nose with the old G Essence Counter Palette. I just don't want it to be too harsh because she doesn't have like a very in your face contour. So I'm gonna mix the two colors here. The other one is way too light for me to even be a contour. It's mostly like almost highlight color. So now that we got bake on, I baked with what I told you. We gotta bake the, the usual, the airspun, and a little bit ultra white from later on. So now I'm blending with the same brushes, the same colors I used before, all the reds, I'm just emphasizing them and making them bigger, bigger, bigger. Now, I don't know if she had highlight, but I'm putting it on because I uncovered this palette and this highlight it looks very lush and very golden. And I want to put it on just because using a spectrum brush, and this is on a dry skin, mind you. I haven't sprayed myself yet. That's a good highlight. So I've been sitting here with a wig cap. I don't think I ever announced that I put it on, but I decided to give my cat ears a rest and already get snatched. House. Anyway, I did the eyelashes off camera and I did gems off camera because this is tedious and it's very straightforward. Just take the eyelash glue glue the gems on, glue the eyelashes on. These are the same three pairs I've been using for months and they're still alive. They're getting close to being dead. They're like a little crusty looking, but I can still get some life out of them. <clears throat> so, at the bottom line, I just cut some top lashes a little shorter. I gave them a little surgery and a little haircuts. And the gems are bigger, bigger than Trinity. I'm proud to be extra big. <laughs> So now lips, I'm doing something here. I'm trying to make the lips look a little bigger because obviously my lips are smaller and also I'm doing drag here. Her lips are not overly overlined. She's got great lips already. So I'm just gonna do the regular lip shape. This is a Profusion pencil. Again, I found when I was organizing stuff. You forget what you have. And there's no color name or anything. It's just like a dark burgundy. So we're working with this one now. <laughs> I'm like clean it up a little bit later. And I'm using this lipstick I got, guess where? Boxy Charm again. This is actually very nice. It's called Natty Nat color. And the brand is beautiful. I've never heard of them. So we're gonna go with this and see how good it is. It doesn't matter because glitter is gonna go on top anyway. <laughs> so who cares? And glitter covers all the mistakes and all the sins. So now we're working with this. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it totally. There is also the beauty mark 
with the gem. I have the gem already ready. I just had to do the lips first. So the glitter is gonna go top. And I did something that's so good, so satisfying. So when I was recovering from my eyebrow tattoo removal, I panned a lot of palettes that uh, I just wasn't using, and I knew they were just cheap and not gonna be used. And some of the palettes, the cheap palettes, I have a lot of glitter in them. And I'm like, well, there's so much glitter I could use, but I don't know where is what. So I panned all of the glitters of all of my palettes. And I created this palette. Look how satisfying this is. This is all by color, by the way, organized. So I'm like, oh. So now I can see my red glitter right there. Do you remember where it came from? No. Do you care? No. <laughs> It's gonna go right on my mouth. Look at this pie hole. There's glitter on it. Okay, we're ready to finish this and get snatched in a wig in as much glitter and rhinestones I can find because, of course, I don't have the costume, but we'll make it work because I'm what? A crafty queen. You're welcome. The reveal! Trinity K. Bonnet in a carnival costume. See, I don't have any costumes, but I just make believe a lot. And I just make up stuff out of nothing. Crafty Queen. Case in point. So, this is the final look. That's one of my oldest wigs I got on Jamaica Ave. If you guys ever been to New York, I used to live in Jamaica, Queens, and Jamaica app is the best place to shop for wigs, period. So this is a synthetic wig I got there, and it's still alive. I got it in 2014, like seven years ago. So, what do you guys think? I am living, of course. I got my jewels on. I got no nails, excuse me. I'm just still uh, trying to heal my broken nails. So. I got my breastplate. <laughs> I got all the red that I have in the house. I don't like red, so I don't have a lot of red. So we got the feathers and my baby just jumped behind me on the chair. You just didn't see it before I started filming. As soon as I sat down, sat down, I felt something pulling. I'm like, I got caught into something. Like, what is it behind me? And it's my baby trying to rip my outfit out. A little shitter. <laughs> my cat loves to rip boss wigs and stuff. I love Trinity K. Bonet in general. I love her performances. I love how she does Beyonce. It's like, hands down, the best Beyonce ever. And Whitney Houston was... <laughs> looked like Whitney Houston. <laughs> She's no comedy queen. Spoiler alert, I'm talking about the Snatch Game. Yeah, and the Snatch Game, that was not her best moment, but she looked like, wow, just like Whitney. So, let me comment. Like this video if you enjoyed it and... Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet uploaded three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and also go live every Monday. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you get notified of all the new videos I upload. Huge thank you to all my patrons, you guys are great. Thank you so much for the support and being here for me. We have Telegram, chat, we have Facebook group and my patrons choose my looks and my palettes sometimes. So if you guys are interested, all the links are down below, as well as my social media. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next fabulous video, darlings. Bye!